Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Well, how are you doing? My name is Lazaro, S-N-R-O, E-C-E-N-A-R-R-O. Uh, how I got involved is, uh, like I was telling a few, a few folks here, is uh, Chris Ann Hall. When I started, when I list, started listening to her speak, it, it gravitated. And uh, I started basically writing everything she stated with, his, with respect to the Constitution, every article, including the Bill of Rights, the Federalist Papers. Uh, me and my coworkers, we started to dissect it all the information that she was saying, and we read it numerous of times, uh, prior to me even coming out with my first video, thanks to Leo Stratton. Um, after that, we went ahead and we listened to Chris, uh, to Darby, Judge Darby, talking with respects to a general, and we realized this is more serious than we expected. Uh, by then, we started uh, uh, listening to Ron Wyden and a couple other politicians talking. And basically, um, in other words, making our patriots look like if they were bad, uh, like they were criminals and they were terrorists. I'll tell you right now, flat out, the real terrorists are the ones in Salem and in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you how uh, the people, the Oregonians, are being defrauded. And my heart weeps to the Hammonds for what they're going through in a lot of the ranchers prior and current that are dealing with the BLM, Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the U.S. Forestry. And your politicians, I'll call them your corrupt politicians, have sold you out. Uh, the documents, as you see, on three tables, like I would have I would wished we could have had one more table, but I left it like this. Uh, uh, what I will do is I'm going to dissect it from the bills that they passed, legislative bills to congressional bills that they passed, they participated. Behind your backs, under statute, under TRT, Technical Review Team, which they created, and created a thing called ORS, Oregon Revision Statutes, or Oregon Revision St uh, Statutories. These are statutory laws <coughs> that are totally unconstitutional. Those are called uh, Measurement 37. Under Measurement 37, they passed comprehensive laws. And as you can see, well, we have one document over there with respect to the Measurement 37, and then you got the bills right here on how they passed it. And, and they used, for instance, uh, Sage Gr Grouse, grouse. Gr grouse, thank you. Sage, uh, Sage Grouse, for instance, Stephen E. Grassi and Cliff Bentz through a House bill called uh, HB 334. Uh, when you guys, uh, get done and asking me any questions in regards to that bill, I'll be more than happy to articulate it and how they went about it. This is basically what they use as a front to take your land, to take your water, to take your timber, to take your uh, minerals. Uh, everything the minerals are down there. And, and, I'll, and I'll elaborate why and how it happened also. We will also want to touch on Ron Wyden, uh, Jeff Merkley, Greg Bolden, Ted Ferrioli, uh, Cliff Benz, as I already said, Andy Benz, Andy Benz, Cliff Benz's bro brother, under Benz Solution LLC. If you go in that corner, you will see how they donated amongst each other using Benz Solution LLC, including within the families. And then how they get land through the BLM. And they sell it for them after they steal the land from the ranchers, and they extract all the lumber and all the minerals, they'll sell that pennies on the dollar to their family and friends like, well, we, you know, Stephen E. Grassi that bought 20 acres of the BLM land for his golf course. I haven't seen it, but I might as well be here, might as well take a ride and take a couple strokes. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> uh, we also have, uh, there's a lot of names. Uh, uh, Harry Reid, how uh, Harry Reid is in cahoots with Jeff Merklin, and Greg Walden. We're bring, bringing that all the way from 2000, including in 1996, where they passed uh, a house bill called 11... 34. And under this house, house bill, we're going to call it public law, under the House Bill 1134, today, if Ron Wyden really wanted the Hammonds out and really wanted to do justice, he can get them out today. Matter of fact, he could get them out the first day when they, went to, when, they put, when they set their foot in there. Because that gave every citizen to stop any fire when, it, when it's going to affect any property, life, or, or, or anything else that they, they think it's relevant uh, under that bill. They even went down in, in, in 2007, 
they created what's called the Widen Amendment. This also correlates with, with what they did in 1996-98, or 19, I apologize, 1998-99, on respects to the, to the public law bill S-1134, with respect to extinguishing fires. Uh, we're gonna also touch uh, on Steens Mountain, Grassy Mountain, Blue Mountain, and how all these co-conspirators, all these criminals, are in the process of right now stealing your land, and I believe the young lady, the pronunciation of? Awahi. Awahi. So right now, as today, they're doing uh, Awahi, and that's all through Andy Bentz. And Andy Bentz is playing both sides. And I will articulate that on how he's playing both, both sides through his brother Cliff Bentz. Same one Cliff Bentz that passed House Bill 334 with Stephen E. Grassi. I'm going to also articulate how Les Zates, his wife of Scott Callister, uh, and King Williams, Zach Williams, Marissa Williams, how they went ahead, went ahead and systematically through their families, basically changing narrative and giving you the false statements. And I'm going to show you how Les Zates is profiting off of you guys. Every Oregonian, he's profiting. From every Oregonian that they steal the BLM steals land from, he's, he's getting a federal grant. Federal grant meaning he's getting paid to write like, for instance, it's just hypothetical, sage grouse, or the temperature of the, or the temperature of the water, if it's hot or cold, or if there's a spot, a spotted owl, uh, they, they just come, they become creative to see what you have, and what's valuable. And the reason why they know is because in, 19, in 1973, Barry Gold Inc., which is Harry Reid, uh, they they call it a land exploration satellite, and under this land exploration satellite of 1973 and another satellite. They go ahead and pin all the minerals. And what they did was, in the beginning, it was supposed to be six states, which was in the central United States. And it was done by a company, they created a company through the United, through the United States Security and Exchange Commission called Uranium Resource. Do not get confused Uranium Resource with Uranium One. Two different uh, companies, and they're both foreign companies. And they both came from Australia. Uh, so what they did under, under Uranium Resource, they, they basically, uh, broke it down into, systematically broke it down into how much we're going to pay, or somebody's going to pay, with respect to silver, gold, uranium, and all the minerals you can think of. Uh, that document's over there too, and I'll be providing that document with regards to uranium resource. Now, how uranium came about, which is also tied into this with Hillary Clinton, uh, uranium came about, which was Venture One, and from Venture One, which is an Australian company, came down to the United States to get all their, all their rights, all their business rights. And it, once they did that, it became Energy, Oregon Energy LLC. After it became Oregon Energy, Energy LLC, it relocated to Canada, where it became Uranium One, as we know it today. So this uranium that's coming out of here, out of, or, out of, out of Oregon and Nevada, is going to, to what we call our enemies. And who are our enemies that we supposedly classified? Russia, China. Iran, ISIS, yet our politicians are giving these companies and these groups the uranium. Well, what do you use uranium for? What is the purpose of the uranium? So, I, I leave the answer for you guys and to start asking questions like this and hold your elected representatives accountable. Because at the end of the day, they're, they're taxing you. At the same time, they're defrauding you by stealing your minerals, your land and your timber. And all through Measurement 37 and public law statutes, or well, congressional laws. So I want to clarify that, congressional laws. Um, so how, how Scott Acosta and Les Zates basically have investments and in also in these companies and looking out for the best interests of the politicians because guess what? Z uh, uh, King Williams, through Iron Triangle, and also a company called Clearwater, that we have an actual bill here that, he, that he, under Clearwater did the land exchange. And in 2013, the public actually started writing uh, with respects to this land exchange. And I don't know if you guys ever heard of the 2013 Land Exchange Act is what they called it. If not, then I'll show or demonstrate what, what they meant by Land Exchange Act. And then on top of it, how Dan Jordan, gentleman right there, all the way to 
second to the end, how he, and between Stephen E. Grassi and Stacy Davies, gave that gentleman $10,000 of your tax dollars. That, you know, they tax us $10,000 per parcel. My understanding, the gentleman has 10 parcels. For every parcel, he gets $10,000 per month. I didn't write this. This is, uh, this is to the Stens Mountain Act, which I read numerous of Stens Mountain Act. And the gentleman over there, and I have the documents that are over here under Stephen E. Grassi. So this is how they're defrauding you guys. I don't know how many people get $10,000 per parcel and work for the BLM at the same time. Uh, to me, I think that's a conflict of interest. So. Uh,